Hey guys, I thought we would uh, do some fried chicken tonight. So what you're gonna need is um, measuring spoons, or just take a whack at it. Now whatever suits you. Um, chicken, and I've got all dark meat. I've got legs and thighs. I've got eight pieces here. And you're going to need uh, something to put your buttermilk in. And I've got two cups of flour in here, plain flour. And um, get my chicken out of my way here. You can tell what I'm doing. And you're going to need buttermilk, probably a cup or two. Plain flour. Uh, I've got my oil over there heating up and I used a whole bottle and that is 48 ounces. And you are going to need uh, two thirds of a tablespoon of salt, a half tablespoon of thyme, a half tablespoon of basil, a third of a tablespoon of oregano, one whole tablespoon of celery salt, one whole tablespoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of dried mustard, and four tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of garlic salt, one tablespoon of ground ginger, and three tablespoons of white pepper, and then probably about a half a tablespoon of accent. And I'm probably going to put in a tablespoon of red cayenne pepper. All right, so let me get my try to get up here where you can see me a little bit better. I've got so much stuff on here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my buttermilk in there. I'm not going to measure it because I just need to waller my chicken around in it. That's probably about a cup and a half right there that I put in it. Maybe two cups. Alright, and my chicken's done prepped and ready. I've cut it up and done what not with it. And I'm going to... Oh, I'm not going to do that. Well, let me go ahead and just put it all down in there then since I've... Because I forgot to put... i got to get my spices in my flour. And I'm going to put my chicken in this buttermilk and let it just be sitting here being happy. Let me get it down in there good. Ooh, about dumped the other two pieces in the floor. Now, um, if you've got an hour and a half to soak your, or not hour and a half, two hours, three hours to soak your chicken in the buttermilk is a lot better because buttermilk tenderizes it, helps tenderize it. But I don't have time, so I'm just using it as something to get my flour to stick to. Let me rinse my hand off. And we are going to get these spices in this flour. I've got my oil. Uh, I'm filling my oil right by. Nope, not ready. I've got my oil on the stove. And I put that, uh, one of them, a uh, full, I opened it and poured it in her, full jug. All right, so, let me get my, I need a, two-thirds salt. And, uh, half tablespoon of thyme. I don't know if this... Oh, I sprayed that. Oh, mercy. I don't know what to do. It ain't gonna fit. That ain't good. Well, let's try this. Boy, we're gonna be here all night. This is not good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this will do fit. This will fix it. Alright, so that's not going to fit on none of them, so I might as well get them open. 
the way I'm going to have to use them. Because once I get my hands in the buttermilk again, I don't want to have to mess myself up. So I'm just fixing them in advance. Alright, so. I forgot where I was at. Oh, a half a tablespoon of thyme. tablespoon of basil. And I want a third of oregano. Celery salt. Okay. And I want a tablespoon of black pepper. Okay, and I want um, one tablespoon of dried bastard. Boy, that pepper went right up my nose. I felt it. Please don't start sneezing. Because if I start sneezing, I can't measure nothing. Snooze or no snooze, I'm not starting over. <laughs> and I don't know anybody that would. That ain't the last snooze, I can tell you that. No. Nope. Can't get the mustard out. That's four tablespoons of paprika. One, two, three, and four. And then I need two garlic salt one and two and one ground ginger pepper
just gonna pass it. That's a good taste it's a teaspoon of accent. That'll work. And I'm gonna, I don't know if I'll put the cayenne in, in or not. I've not made a firm decision on that. I need to see if my oil's getting hot. Yep, starting this. So I'm gonna turn it down a tad. Because I need to stir it and I don't want oil to get too hot. And I really need to get my spices mixed together here with my flour. This right here. chicken and lower it around that flare shake it off and same thing again lower it around in the flare shake it off Are getting to me. Now, lean it over there. Get this one in here. Shake it out. And I'm going to put it back down in there. Put this one over here. Put that one back in. Put this one back in. And this one back in. I need to make myself a little room here. Shake it out. Get this one in here. Shake it out. Last piece. Get it in here. And shake it off. <coughs> I can taste every bit of that. Alright, now this is its second go round in the buttermilk. Shook it out. And now I'm going to press when I put it in it this time I'm gonna press it in there press it on it and then shake it up all right that's one piece let's get us another piece up here legs this is the third leg press it down shake it out here's the fourth leg same thing press it down 
shake it out. And let's stir that with the remaining pieces in the buttermilk. Then back in the spices. And that's good because my spices have had it. And my flour is all gone, so. Water it around and what's left. And press it. And there it is. And you can see that it's all used up. The buttermilk's almost totally gone too. So let me rinse my hands off because I want to start putting it in the oil. That oil's ready. And if my fingernails looked dirty, guys, they, they were not. I helped James clean out his food truck today, and I got into oil and everything by accident. All right, let me try to, I make Philippians upside down or anything here, and if I do, I apologize in advance. All right, and let me clear this off of here. And clear this off of here, out of my way. All right. My oil is hot. I'm going to turn it back up on medium because I had turned it down a little dab. And now let's get our chicken in there. Well, safety first, guys. Safety first. You don't mess around hot oil. Oh, uh, yeah. And you don't want to put so much in here that it don't have enough room. And you don't want to cool it too much. So, I'm probably only going to put in about three pieces, maybe four. I can get another one and it not cool it to the point of running it. Alright. And now I gotta set me a timer because I want it to run for 15 minutes. I mean I'll check it. But I'm gonna let it let me show it to you. There you go. And I'm going to turn it down one little, one little tiny notch below if I can find a little down just a tad. All right then, we'll be back. Okay guys, it's been 15 minutes. We're going to get a piece out and make sure it is done. I'm going to get this big old piece out. Let the rest of it stay right in there and fry. Get this big old piece out. I should have tore me off a paper towel. Now let's lay it right there on it. I think that's the biggest thigh in there. Ain't that pretty? Now let's see. We cut it right fast and make sure. I just have a knife. Get me a fork because it is hot. And I'm going to cut it right down in it and make sure it is done. Oh, it's done. Well, nope, maybe not plum, 100% done. So let's put her back. 
that was a mighty big thick piece and I had turned my oil down so just always check you know to be on the safe side because you put too much effort and spices into this for it not to be done I bet your legs are done now but I'll just let it fry another minute or two and then we'll be back thank you All right, guys, let's get these legs out of here. I, I'm sure they're done. They don't doubt my mind. So let me get my test plate over here out of the way. <coughs> and while I get the legs out, the uh, them thighs, because they're a lot heavier and thicker, can still be frying a little bit. They're the fat, juicy leg. Okay, guys, and this is my fried chicken. And if I had took time to press it in good and stuff, but I was in a hurry because it's so late. It's 9 o'clock, 9 p.m., and we got to get up at 5, so I just wanted it to get done and stuff, but it's delicious. And uh, that's how I do my chicken. And... Uh, I appreciate y'all putting up with me and, and uh, everything that you say and do. And uh, let, let's get a thigh out. that cool my oil out. Now I've got it on medium. And that's another thing to help my breading come up was where I turned my oil down because it was taking me longer than it should have. But anyway, here is my fried chicken. And uh, again, I appreciate everything that y'all say and do. And uh, for coming on to my new Facebook page, Georgia Million Meals, and for following me and uh, being so encouraging and uh, just all the love that I get from everybody is amazing. And, um, and until next time, thank you.